welcome to another episode of The Best Show, Saturday night on your television. This is the Delco Duo. You made it to another Saturday night, another weekend. Hope you're Love enjoying it. it. I'm Jenna Meisner, one half of the Delco Duo. And I'm Monica Crying, the other half. We're solving all of your problems the best way we know how, given a little bit of advice from people who send their stuff, and we keep you anonymous. Yes, and we give our two cents, and we love doing it, so we hope you enjoy it as well. All right, let's talk a little bit about your shirt, because yes. all these teams are doing a meme. I know. So I am I'm fully Delco merched out right now, um, sort of like a OOTD outfit of the day. Let's so do this it. this is Primitive Shirts, a local guy who makes really cool graphic tees. So it has the outline of Delaware County, and then we have the Phillies, the Eagles, the Sixers, the Flyers, and the Union, and it says Delco. That so it's all different ways the logos can be used. That's perfect. Like, cover all your bases. Yes. You go and watch a sport. And, and, you, and you're got covering all of them. It. And then my bracelets, as I mentioned um, to Monica beforehand, the Delco beads. They're two young girls in Delaware County, and they make really cute custom bead sets. Mm -hmm. And proceeds from the beads go to different organizations and charities in need. So I have all my Delco covered today. Okay, I'm wearing Old Navy. <laughs> <laughs> Delco beads, if you're watching, I, we need to get Monica a set. I, okay? I love them. They they're so cute. They have the so cutest little cute. business cards, too. They, they're so professional. I mean, they're like 11 and I love their and story. Love yeah. their story. So, shout out to them. Check them out. Shout out to you. And we also have another shout out in our debrief today. Okay, let's get right to it. We always love hearing from people in our inbox, in the in the email portion. Delco Duo at PHL17. What did someone send us? So a 100th birthday, a man a is out. celebrating in Upper Darby. It was actually last weekend that he celebrated. Uh -huh. uh, but now we are, you know, wishing him a belated happy birthday. We actually have a photo of him. So Aaron this is Lipson. Aaron Lipson. Oh, hi, Aaron. He is a Delco native and World War II veteran, oh, and he celebrated you, his 100th birthday. I believe it was October 16th. It was that weekend. Did he say how he celebrated? They have, like, a, a big celebration for him um, in Upper Darby. He got, like, letters from the mayor and the governor. Governor Wolf sent him something. Oh, I love it. So it, it was a big feat. and He looks amazing. He does. I love those pictures that they sent as well. Thank so. you, guys. That's so fun because that's what, you know, we always talk talk about with uh, people sending in their issues and our email is like not to see see things yes I also love you know people sending us fun things that they do but also responses so it's not necessarily an issue but kind of like a response to the issues like we've been getting you know <laughs> last week we talked a lot about first dates and like red flags on first dates and I have been inundated with other people's people red have flags a lot to say we're yes. not the only ones that have a lot to say it's very true and this is an outlet feedback so but happy birthday to Aaron hope uh hope Thank you, you celebrated Wait, so he spent 50 years running Lipson's Deli in, in Philadelphia. Yeah. Do we know if that's still open? I, I, I'm not sure. I did do a quick Google Lipson. search, okay. and it did not come up. So I'm not sure if the doors have closed. Aaron Lipson, if your family is watching, if you're watching, let us please know. follow up and let us know if that still exists. Otherwise, I'm coming to Lipson's Deli. <laughs> okay. 100 years. Wow. Oh. Can you imagine if we were 100 doing this? Okay. Oh, Monica, what did you say? <laughs> My advice would be just as good as it is now, okay. which is not very good. <laughs> All right, so let's get right to it. All right, our issue number one mm. comes from Pete from Prospect Park. How would you get into showbiz? I've been trying to break into the big time showbiz for many years, so I thought, what the heck, I'll ask. I, I love it. What the heck, I'll ask. We'll answer anything. So Pete... Pete, don't think that we're in show business. This is not show this business. This is not show business. <laughs> this, this is, is like Z-list. Yeah, Z. <laughs> we're talking Z-list showbiz right here. could have gone with F-list. No, I mean, no, we're, like we're, we're at the bottom. Okay. All right. What, what is your advice? How do you break into showbiz? Mm. I mean, if we're talking like actual showbiz, I would try and get in like as an extra. Okay. So um, that's, your, that's your stepping stone? Yeah. Get in as an extra somewhere. And you're probably thinking, Where? Because, you know, you're not in Cali, you're in Delco. Well, I heard that they're opening up a, um, um, uh, like, a place where they film things. Um, Netflix is in, at the Jersey Shore. So multiple series and things like that? Yeah, I think, like a film this, set. Like, a fi like, sort of, like, think... Uh 
Universal Studios. Like Universal Studios, probably in, at on the a smaller, Jersey Shore. At the Jersey Shore. <laughs> okay, I need to look I, more I don't into know this because part... I didn't hear anything of the sort. Yes, so Netflix is doing a filming in at the Jersey Shore, and they're setting up like a, a long term facility. So. Just wherever that is, go. It can be grueling to be an extra. Like I you know, have to hours. show up really early. You just basically wait to be maybe in five seconds of a show. And then you cut that little part and you start making yourself a reel and making yourself a reel. So we're talking 2022. We're talking showbiz. You got to go viral. I think that is how people are becoming famous. You have to be on TikTok. You have to be on Instagram. You have to be on these social media platforms. And you have to keep posting and go go viral. You're breaking into showbiz. I just hate... The corn boy? Do you think he ever dreamed he'd be in showbiz? He's in commercials? But that's the thing is sometimes you're trying too hard. It it just happens upon you. The whole viral thing, the best viral videos are the ones... Not forced. Not forced. I am so sick of these viral forced videos Mm -hmm. where like people, you know, one we played on the air the other day where um, a guy pretends to propose to his girlfriend, but then takes out like a ring pop and she... um, Gets mad. Gets mad. Like that was so stupid. I hope they don't go viral. Don't go viral that's so forced you well, knew you that was go not viral real. with like a talent you okay. can't go viral just doing like falling down you have to go viral with yes. like a song or something catchy or yeah. you know there's a ton of actors and actresses that do skits on tiktok and some of them are actually really good and i'm sure talent scouts are looking at these social media apps so i'm going more the traditional way try and become an extra <laughs> and also, here and there get your name out there start networking don't bother the big stars they are not going to talk to you but just some of the people on the sidelines networking that, networking you have to be social you you're not going to be in showbiz at home you got to get right. out the door and talk to people go to the jersey shore where the netflix thing is <laughs> i really think you're hanging that up because i, I am not have, like, i am where not are they, where are they gonna put it Oh, they, they, they have, have it. Marsh? No, no, no. I forget where they said. It's somewhere that we you recognize. Are we talking like you're on the Garden State Parkway, you exit, or is it like Millville? Like somewhere nope. that's like it a says little bit more. Jersey Shore, where it says like Shore Points. 7S. You wanna, you're no, exiting. It's not Ocean City. You're exiting it's, for 7S. Is it like Egg Harbors? I don't remember. I'll Google it what? next. And after the break, mm-hmm. when we come back, I will let you know where it is. Stay with us. That is a good segue as we head to break. Uh, Coming up next, we have another issue for you. We're going to talk about tipping. How much should you tip? How little should you tip? I think that's really telling of us. So we got to have good answers. Stay with us. Okay, (laughs) to follow up on what we were talking about last time, Netflix, according to the Inquirer, Mm -hmm. Netflix Mm -hmm. could soon set up shop at the Jersey Shore with a massive production complex. So it's not definite yet. They're still still in a bidding war for this. (laughs) (laughs) But it's going to be at the uh, site that formerly housed Fort Monmouth Army Base about 80 miles north of Philadelphia in North Jersey Shore. So we're talking North Jersey. We're not talking like Jersey Shore. But it's it's not Cali. It's but an opportunity. It's a drive away. It's a drive away. Peak from Prospect Park. You can drive there and live your showbiz dreams showbiz out. Showbiz dream. Start small as an extra remember, or go viral on TikTok. That's showbiz, baby. That's what they say. It's when tough. It's, it's tough. It's tough. We Gotta all, have tough skin. We And we have tough skin because <laughs> we have, I have been, I have been let down in the showbiz for a while. Topic number two comes from Sally from We don't C-Pain. need to know about your trauma, Monica. Don't, I, but that could be a whole show in and of itself. All right, what's going on, Sally? She says, is tipping under the minimum okay? Hmm. What What are your thoughts about this? Because I, first of all, minimum I think is different. Okay. For, you know, bar, if you're just getting drinks, it used to be 10%. Wow. That was the minimum. Like, you could do 10%, but now it's changed. Um, okay. Especially with these specialty cocktails and everything, pandemic. I think you tip your bartender now 20%. Well, that's what I'm saying. Times are tough for everyone. They're tough for the patrons. They're tough for the people that are working. Yeah. So, you know, money, is, yeah. money's tight in a lot of different places. Mm-hmm. I have always grew up to know that... 20% is standard for tipping. If you enjoy your service, you go beyond 20%, okay. but 20% is the starting point. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
But that's hard because sometimes, oh, I feel, I do feel bad. Sometimes I'm doing like, like 15. No, 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 not 15. Like 18. You know how 18 percent. <laughs> If, if I don't That's enjoy so this, sur- it, it, you know what I do? And I, I just do, th- I just move the decimal point over one and times it by two. That's what I was going to ask you. How do you figure out That's, your tip? So, so if the bills, I don't know why I'm saying this, okay. um, but if the bill's like $100, All right. then I'm tipping 20 Okay. I that's, think that's how I do that's, tipping too. Yeah. Or I, I add, I double it. So like say my bill's 180 Yes. It's 360 180 plus 180 Jenna's going all out for her dinner. So it's $36 of a tip. Yes. That's how I always figure out my tip. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm usually going 20%. Now the question is, is, and this gets real super technical, do you tip on after tax or before tax cost? Beca- total including tax. The total including, okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't even I don't even look before the tax. I, I know. I just don't Some even want to know. Some people do. They will take what the cost was before tax, move the decimal point over one, and times by two. Mm. And you got to be careful because a lot of these restaurants are adding tips and they're adding like pandemic yes. fees that you don't even realize they're. Are you adding. tipping on pandemic fee too? Like it's just tough right now, and I do kind of dislike. Like if you have a large party, then by all means add the tip for us. Mm-hmm. But if you're adding the tip for like a party of four or less, I do kind of have a problem with that. Right. Even though it's standard now, everybody's going to do like twenty percent. I still want to make that decision on my own. And I miss the old days. That's the point of tipping is right. like, you got to work how for it. How did you feel about the service? Yes, exactly. And it's so awkward now when they can flip the little screen around and it's like 10%, 15%. And it's like, I just got a coffee. Like you, all you did was, just, I understand you're here working, but like yeah. you just poured it in. Do I tip 20% for that? No, don't, don't start that standard. If I'm going up to a counter and I'm ordering food through someone that they just hand over the counter and then I go and sit, I'm not tipping. What about delivery? Oh, yeah. Tip yeah, on delivery. Are you tipping like 20% or are you tipping? Yeah, I'll usually do 20% because now I just think 20% is just the standard. standard. Yeah. Get my Even down to getting my hair done, getting my nails done, 20%. Any service. We always talk about like things you should tip on and things you shouldn't tip on. I, I do agree that any service is a tip, but it's like I got air in my tires. Uh-huh. I got that done when one time I got gas and I got air in my tires. Do I tip the, the man that put the air in the tires? Did they give you a tip line or are you talking cash? No, I just gave my card. And they had a tip line? No, they didn't. But I'm oh. saying, should, oh, I ha- no. should I have given him Absolutely cash not. for putting air in my Jenna, tires? Jenna, you're, you're setting these standards that no one can follow. Well, I don't want to. I feel like tipping says a lot about a person and I don't want. I don't want to have a bad tipping reputation. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I do think about that. But no, don't. I honestly even think like I've seen, you know, Grubhub and DoorDash and all those workers kind of talking about like poor working conditions and how they really don't make that much when they do a ride. So I do always feel bad for them. But I also sometimes like when Tate, my husband, is tipping them more than like if we were sitting down at a restaurant. I'm like, that's ridiculous. You don't need to tip them that. Because it it adds up. And now all of a sudden I'm like, I don't want to partake in these things if I'm going to have to be tipping. But But it's kind of like if you're going out and you're getting drinks and you're having food, then you need to be... You need to spend the money on tipping too. And and no less than the minimum. Minimum's twenty percent. It used to be ten percent for the bartenders, but now I'm I curious. no longer do that. What do you think at home? What what is your tipping protocol? Is everything across the board twenty percent or does it differ? Does it Let fluctuate? us know. Okay. All right. Next up is one of our own issues. Mm-hmm. So make sure you stick around for this. I don't even know what's coming up. So <laughs> it'll be a surprise. We're going off script. Of <laughs> Stay with us. And welcome back to the Delco Duo. Now it's time for one of our own issues. Whose yes. turn is it? Let's see. Who is it? Meisner needs an advisor. What do you got, girlfriend? All right. Is there ever a point when you're at home where you feel like, I'm nagging so much that I just can't do it anymore? Um, no. I mean, I definitely know I'm nagging too much, but I've never <laughs> no. been like, I'm going to stop here. There's never a stopping point. <laughs> no. Just continues. <laughs> well, for me, it's sometimes like I know that I'm annoying myself. Like I'm annoyed. Really? I'm annoyed that I've asked you to do something so many times that I just can't do it anymore. So ways that I'll do things. Are you getting, are you 
like, are you sure you're nagging or are you just asking nicely? At a certain point, you got to start raising your voice. I think I ask nicely like once. Okay. Like, and then you, he still doesn't do it? Can you please do this? And then he's like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. We're talking about my husband, by the way. <laughs> if you're not sure. Who else? Of course we're talking about Who it. Who else would we talk about? So things I've done, like, so, you know, when we come into our mud room, sometimes I'll always leave my shoes there because I, I feel like I wear either sneakers or my Uggs. Like, I'm always right. wearing the same type of shoe to work. Okay. He'll wear different dress shoes to work, brown, gray, black, all different types of dress shoes. So sometimes his shoes become overwhelming when I walk into the mudroom. And I'm just, it's like a shoe store. Mm -hmm. So I'll move them on to, we have another shoe mat that's closer to the staircase. So I'll move like two of the pairs to the, to the staircase mat. Yes. Meaning. Which is like. Out. Bring, bring yeah. them upstairs. I've done half the work for you. I've crossed the house. They're now halfway there. And then they'll be there for another three or four days. No, see, okay. <laughs> That's because you're setting him up to leave him there because you set the mat up. Take the mat away. The mat's for guests when they come in the front to take their shoes exactly. off. Exactly. Don't put them on the mat. Put them on Which the steps. Which when Monica comes over, she never takes her shoes off. I don't take off. my shoes off. <laughs> I don't, I don't take my shoes off when I get to people's it's, houses. And I don't expect people to, but if someone wants to take their shoes off, I want to I want to. When I came over them. to your house, Eugene at one point was like, Mon, everybody's removed their <laughs> shoes. And I'm still just clunking around in like my leave, leave co leaves covered. Shoes. I think it was raining that night too. But that is besides the point. I'm not like, if I'm not the type of person that cares yeah. about cleanliness when I have guests, like that'll be an issue for when everyone leaves. Right. Cause you want people to have a good time at your house. So that's fine. But when it's someone who lives at the house, Tate, I, I get to a point where it's four days later and they're still there and I'll lose it. Why haven't you brought your shoes up? And he's like, oh, I didn't know you wanted me to. Hey, well, I, I guess what you're saying is you can't take the mat away because that's for your guests. That's for my okay. guests. But I'm saying he needs to take the hint. He okay, needs to take you're... the hint that I've moved them. So now this is the mat that means move them again to the stair. Upstairs. And I have, I have told you this before. You guys have only been married a year. It's like five years before you guys start syncing up with like what, how you want your house to be held kind and of thing. I, I mean, five for the years. Most part, I think he can, he knows, he can read my mind pretty well, but when it comes to chores, <laughs> he has no idea. It's actually really funny because at a certain point, you know, it, same thing, like the first year Eugene and I were married, I'm like, can you do this? Can you do this? Now he- See, but didn't that get tiring to yeah, say it? Yeah, it gets tiring, but then finally it, it works and- now Eugene takes it another step, and he can't stand when my stuff is in the in the mud room. So he's turned into a worst version of you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now he's he takes it the next step, and he doesn't even want the shoes in the mud room. It's take them off, pick them up, carry them right upstairs. And I'm like, okay, buddy, let's <laughs> relax. Like this was my rule to begin with, but now he he's the more neurotic one about how clean oh, our house is. I don't know that would, I don't know if that would ever happen it's, to Tate. It's gonna happen. But like, it's not even the shoes. Like it's like the AirPod case, as tiny as that little thing is. Sometimes I'll put it like on the staircase railing, like it's kind of like a mm -hmm. square, you know, where it can like kind of rest. It'll be there for. I don't know, two days. And I'm like, oh, this is yeah. not decor. We are not decorating the railing with AirPods. Why, why do stairs act as like a nice collection <laughs> yeah. pile? I, Jackets. Honestly. And then here's, the, here's what you got to stop doing. Don't put, it, don't put it on the side of your stairs. Put it, put on it the, in the middle. Put it right on the stairs. So that people the... got to step over it or they fall. <laughs> I, think, I honestly think he would step over it. I honestly think he'd be like, that's, that's odd that that's there. No, anyway, let me move so about annoying. my day. Here's the other issue. The second that you guys sync up in how you keep your house and how you keep it tidy and how you keep it clean. Now you get, have kids. And so they now just my ruin kids, everything. yeah, they, they leave their shoes everywhere. The, the stairs are constant. Can you bring this upstairs? Can you bring it? That's what it's like the, the Island of misfit toys. Like it, yeah. it was on its way to be delivered to a kid's house on Christmas. And then it just didn't quite make it. And now mm -hmm. it just stays there. I would love to see people's like, send us a, a, another thing. Send us a picture of your stairs, of your stairs <laughs> right now and how messy it can get. Just tell yeah. like, this or is dining assignment. room tables. Dining room tables are also a big spot where people will leave mail, packages, just things like that. I know I sometimes know. our dining table gets a little bit messy and I'm like, well, Eugene, same thing. We used to leave our mail out until we handled it. And then Eugene started getting super clean and now he puts it in a drawer. And then all of a sudden it's like, this bill is past due. And I'm like, well, I didn't know it was there. My husband just puts these bills away unpaid, but he wants them off the counter. He wants they you have to have to be bad credit. That's what he wants. Yeah. So, so 
no more hints. You, you think I just need to keep nagging? Yeah, keep going. Wear them down. Wear them down. That's I, it's not. You're not be nagging for more than a year. You're Monica. keeping things clean. Okay. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, we have our Delco trivia. I, I like this one. Monica hasn't looked at the answer yet. Okay. Okay, so I'll read the question. Yes. How many colleges and universities are in Delaware County? In Delco. Are we a smart county? We'll find okay. out. I'll stay with us. Delaware County. I don't know why, but I want to go like really into double digits, like 30, 40. Wow. So I know the answer because I've okay. crafted this question and it is nowhere near 30 or 40. Oh, I don't know why I thought you that. You gotta chop that in half, basically. Oh, okay. Yes, so, so let's take a look at our answer here. How many colleges and universities are in Delco? 14. 14. So okay. we're talking colleges and universities. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's schools, there's right, right, right. middle schools, no, elementary schools. So that's still a, that's a still a large number for, that I would is. say. It's like, that is, that's a I good I have the number. outline of the county on my shirt right now. This is not a so huge. here's one, here's the other, here's the other. <laughs> and we put them all on a full screen and this this graphic is just kind of ridiculous because it's, it's there's just a lot of text I want to see it. how many I recognize. So let's take up that full screen and we can show you uh, some of the universities and some of the colleges that we are talking about. We're going about. alphabetically. You can see, like, that's just, I know none of you really want to read that right now. But Cabrini, Cheney, Eastern. Delaware ACCC. County Community College, Haverford, ACCC. Newman. You know what? I'm looking at this. Uh, we're going all the way through Swarthmore, Villanova, Widener, Williamson. The only one I'm not recognizing on there is the um, Pendle Hill Quaker Center yes. for Study and Contemplation. Yes. That's such a Quaker thing. That, that is a Quaker thing, but that, that is in Delaware County, so it counts. Okay. I love it. And, and we that's just a, had that uh, today. You that, can get a degree from the Center for Study and Contemplation. A degree in contemplation. <laughs> you need to go there I do. and contemplate your life. Oh, I've always thought the Quakers could really help me a lot. <laughs> I yeah. need a more peaceful outlook. Yeah, so that that was on the list. And Swarthmore, we were talking about um, earlier, we were saying that it was voted like one of the 16. best colleges or universities. For for like the cost. I'm like, yeah. go Swarthmore, love it. My grandmom used to work there. My dad went to Widener. Yeah, my mom went to Widener and Delaware County Community College. My mom so went to Villanova. Well, Villanova is like such a... Such She's super smart. It's an argumentative one, I'd say, because people will think like mainline... But it is technically I think the in Delco. Is in Delco. Even though you think of Villanova and you think, oh, you know, that's not Delaware County. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I love I love all these schools. P Cheney, Cabrini, those are some Williams good and, schools. Uh, the College of Trades. I had a few cousins that actually went there, and they're killing it. And like, I feel like what trades do they do now? nowadays they work for Pico. Pico. They work uh, at like plants. My cousin. And, like, my cousin went to Williamson and he works at Pico now. Yeah. But it was intense. Yeah, it's almost he like couldn't, a like, military school ask. It, it is. Like, sometimes he wouldn't be able to come to Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah. oh, my God. You're on a schedule. You yeah. wake up. You make your bed. You do, you do all that crazy. kind of stuff. That's crazy. Good for you guys going to Williamson. But now they're killing it. I mean, they're making the big bucks. And I, trades. I went to Penn State Brandywine for one college, no, three college credits. I took a calc class there. In the summer. In the summer. Because I just was so like, and you are technically Penn State a part of the Delaware County colleges and universities. Love it. All right, as always, you can reach us Delco Duo at phl17.com. Continue to send your comments, your questions. Yep, we want to hear them all. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Delco Duo. See you next week. Mm -hmm.